boring question. Just start off with. Yeah, I know, but that's kind of boring too. You could have said it. Oh, what's your name? And it'll be like, oh, my name is Don Mendoza. Um, and then, and then you could respond with another question like, uh, what's your age? Oh, I, my, I'm 29 and I'm in the final year of, oh, and then the, and then you can go, oh, and what do you do at the City Conservatorium of Music? And I'll be like, oh, yes. And I'm in the final year of, all well, the final semester actually of my performance degree here at the con. I major in, well, organ performance. Oh, that wasn't too good. <laughs> I guess it's just something that came to me naturally, I mean, and you know, when my parents kind of found out about it, they were like, oh, hey, you know, let's enroll him into, you know, piano lessons and stuff. And the thing, the, the biggest thing that um, you could say is that I started playing the piano when I was four. So before I went to primary school, that was, that was my thing, I guess. Um, you know, one of the stories my grandmother always tells me, I mean, my grandmother's in the States at the moment, but she always told this one to me is that every time we'd go to the store, you know, my grandma's like, oh yeah, you know, son, every time we went to the store, you know, you'd be like, just looking for the music store and, you know, you'd just want to, you know, oh, piano, you know, and, and, you know, and then I'd always run to the music store and, you know, muck around on the piano, apparently. That's what the story, story was. Um, you know, I was one of the most rowdy and most difficult young children to take care of, apparently. Playing in church and things like that is um, just expression, um, expressing what I feel. Um, most of the time, happiness and a lot of um, religious music is that way. And, and sometimes it brings you into, a, into such ecstasy that you've never thought of before I mean, again that's the nature of music and in terms of religion like um, religious music can also bring you into into a religious state that you may or may not have been to before and it's just trying to get this transcendental feeling that there is something beyond this, you know, that's, there's, yeah, something else. It may be religious, it may not be, but I would, I would like to think that the majority of the time it's religious. Like, I feel like I'm giving part of my soul to them, um, you know, and my hope is that they get an insight into what I'm feeling, what the composer of the music is fe felt at the time when he or she wrote that particular work. Um, music for me is the ultimate, the easiest way for me to express how I'm feeling. Um, it's music. Uh, but it might not be, it might be happiness, it might be love, it might be desperateness, it really depends. I mean, it's not just one, music isn't one emotion.